Well, welcome to Coffee with Joe, folks. Uh, good to be with you again. Uh, oh, we live in such interesting times, don't we? We're, we're in Job chapter 17, verses 10 to 16, just to explain what we do here. Uh, every weekday at 11 o'clock, put this out. Lots of you watch it at different times. Um, those of you in the UK, I think it's about midnight when this goes out. Or is it? Yeah. But... Um, it's just going through God's word and seeing how it applies today. Now listen to this passage. This is Joe speaking from verse 10 of chapter 17. But come on, all of you, try again. I will not find a wise man among you. My days have passed, my plans are shattered. Yet the desires of my heart turn night into day. In the face of the darkness, light is near. If the only home I hope for is the grave, if I spread out my bed in the realm of darkness, if I say to corruption, you are my father, and to the worm, my mother or my sister, where then is my hope? Who can see any hope for me? Will it go down to the gates of death? Will we descend together into the dust? It's just incredible. Now, I'm not going to, you know, what's going on in the world just now is this, this COP26 and the, the people talking about the world's going to end and so on. And I've written about that and you can get that on my blog. And there's also the, the Romans 8 that we looked. And I just, honestly, I think that is such an amazing hope. But I do want to refer to some of the things that are happening or the attitudes that people have. So there's this sense of hopelessness and despair. And for once, I'm going to quote the wise words of Greta Thunberg, blah, 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 blah. I think that's where our leaders are. And this is what Job is saying here. Come on, all of you, have another go. Try again. It may be a little bit sarcasm. It may be a call to repentance. Surely you are the people, he said in chapter 12, verse 2, and wisdom will die with you. Now he's saying there's not a wise man among you. And I think our leaders and our people, we want to know, is there a wise person amongst them? Really? Really? What is a wise person? Not just someone, who, not someone who can Google, not someone who's got degrees, but someone who knows how to apply the knowledge that they have been given. They certainly need wisdom. And then hope is gone. I think of Greta, and I do feel sorry for her, standing in, in, before the UN in New York going, you have shattered my dreams, or you have... <sighs> Stolen my dreams, I think. Well, Job says, yeah, my days have passed. My plans are shattered. They're gone. They're gone. And his only hope is shield. His only hope is the place of darkness. His only hope is to call the worm his mother or his sister and to say to corruption, you're my father. He said, I'm going to the grave. I'm going to the place of darkness. I'm going to the place of disintegration. Is there any hope for me? Why keep speaking when there is no hope? Well, I think there is hope. Now, if your hope is in the politicians coming to some kind of meaningless agreement, which is really just a wishful thinking and a prayer, you're going to be disappointed. But there is another hope. He keeps speaking. I think there's a contrast here between feelings and reality. Let me explain it this way. He feels hopeless in the black pit of despair, but he argues logically out of that despair. Now, I can identify with that. I would say that three or four times in my life, I've known a black despair. And thankfully, generally, they were mercifully short. But I, in, in at least three of those, partly what got me out was saying, I feel this, I hate this, but my mind tells me that there is a God. I'm not going to rely on my feelings. My mind tells me that I've got nothing left but this faith in Jesus. Too often we allow our feelings to dominate our reason when it should actually be the other way around. So that comes back to Christ again, doesn't it? Christ went through all that Job went through. The longing for comfort, the loneliness, the hatred of God against sinners. He too stared into the very jaws of death. He didn't do more than stare. He went there. He went to Sheol. That's what our confidence is. That's what our, our hope is. And, you know, the more I go on, the more I see it, and the more I'm burdened to let people know. We live in a hopeless world, and yet we have been given great hope through Christ. See you tomorrow. Bye.